Turn it up. Hey everyone. Well, today I'm here to talk to you why I haven't been up here putting videos up. I'm always working on cars and bikes, as a lot of you know. If you're new to the channel, thanks for coming by. So subscribe if you got the chance, see if you like the content. So behind me is my shop. And that's the reason I haven't been making the video. <laughs> so I'm making a video about doing this. I am trying to backfill the garage to make the floor level because I've been building this shop for a while by myself. And as you can see, borrowed a Bobcat from somebody. Luckily, the person let me use it for a while and I got 56 tons of dirt. And it, it, it helped a little. <laughs> I still probably need like a hundred tons. Like I need a lot more dirt, but it's the floor is level enough to where I'm just gonna say, forget it. I've got gravel coming tomorrow to basically gravel the whole garage and then some. So I'm gonna walk around the garage, show you guys what it looks like real quick. So let's go in the garage. Camera's a little shaky, I'm just walking through. So there's the big bad bobcat, our skid steer. Sorry, there's kids playing down the street. So been trying to get the floor level. So I got 56 tons of clay, which is basically, it's like the same stuff you'd make a pot with. It's just Tennessee red clay. I'm here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and whew, this was a lot of work. Still got a lot of stuff to go on. So this room over here, show you guys. This, I'm gonna have my toolboxes here, a workbench across there, and then a little workbench, and there's gonna be a door I'm gonna end up building into that, that wall right there. And the pile of stuff there is all the garage doors for the front of this place. Yeah, but this is the progress of my shop. Figured I would share you guys. I got more lighting. Those things are super bright at night. <laughs> I love those things. I love this thing. This thing, I would not been able to do this without that thing right there. So, if you're wondering, yeah. So the garage is 24 feet wide and I got 56 tons, and that brought it up like, I mean, it did actually bring it up quite a little bit. Let me go to the back. Well, no, it really didn't. <laughs> so this, from the back, let me walk in some poison ivy for you guys. I previously got some dirt and it raised it about a foot. So this raised it, it doesn't look like it on camera, but it raised it about another foot. But all I was worried about was getting as much of the floor level as possible so I could work in here. So tomorrow, I'm going to get some gravel. Flatten this out a little bit more. Work it back and forth. And, well, get this, uh, get this garage going. So, I'm going to get the garage going like I just said. And sorry, it's not a super interesting video unless you like the garage. If you like the garage, let me know. I'll actually go through and do more videos of it. I kind of plan on it, but just been trying to get it done. That way I can get all my other projects back in the garage because I got them, they're just parked in my backyard. It looks awful. <laughs> I'm not even gonna show you guys, it looks really bad. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you for coming by, stopping, watching the video. Subscribe, like the video if you like it. Check out my other videos, and I will see you guys next time.